my whole thing, vibe, genre that I call myself is future classical. So the pairing of the, the violin uh, with something that is future, like the rise, I think is amazing because I feel like that complements my sound as an artist. In creating this song, I just wanted to really stretch myself. Coming from playing violin, I'm very monophonic in my playing. You know, I don't play as many chords when I'm playing keyboards because I'm not so much of a keyboardist, so I found that this works really well for me because I can have that sort of expressive sound in just playing single notes, um, like I do in playing the violin. And you know, you can play some chords in, in the violin as well, but not as many uh, as you would say a keyboard. The rise is super important in live performance because of that expressiveness, um, because I'm able to manipulate a filter. I was able to map some of these sliders over here to effects in Ableton Live, which was really cool. So I've got this sound here. So I, I, I mapped uh, this, this slider here to a Valhalla reverb. And then this one to uh, a distortion, pedal. I just love incorporating it into my live performance because of the flexibility, because it's different from anything else that's out there. Throughout the performance, um, I had set up a sequence going through. I had some follow actions going on in Ableton, which means that uh, after a certain number of bars, it would change the preset on Equator, which would in turn change the sound that I was playing on the rise. In Ableton, what I did was I just had one Equator synth. I created a whole bank called Alux Rolly Live. What I did throughout was to create these clips with the program changes, and then I had follow actions in Ableton. So basically after 37 bars, I told it to change from my synth string pad to the synth lead. And then from there, that played for eight bars and then goes to the glide. So it just kind of went through and sequenced through these different sounds for me so I didn't have to think about it during the performance, which was awesome. And then in Equator itself, I mean, if you click on any of these different controls here, you can see that whatever is in yellow, you're modulating that thing. So for instance, on, on this particular patch, when I press down harder, you can hear the filter cutoff getting increasing and then decreasing, which is super cool. So that is the way that I used Equator for this particular performance. And then of course that worked in conjunction with all of my other instruments and uh, hopefully it came up with a cool sort of arrangement. Thank you.